Welcome to another edition of emag2411 on youtube.com. Um, this is Eddie McNamara right here. This is your WWE Raw uh, 316 15, March 16, 2015 full show review and results show. Okay, let's get into it. Let's not waste any time. Okay, so, um, so basically we started off Raw with Seth Rollins, Kane, Big Show, Jerry Mercury, and Jamie Noble in the ring. Um, now we all know this is Seth Rollins' hometown, because he's from Iowa. Um, talks about Orton turning on them last week. So that's a fancy nobody's. Actually says he did something with his life, since he's from Iowa. Now we all know Orton betrayed him last week. He said he trusted Orton, but vouched for him and treated him like family. He said that what Orton did to him was nothing like he did to the Shield. He said it was sh what he did to the Shield was just a sound business decision. Then a you sold out chant starts a big one. He said that what Orton did was sh in the cold button was borderline psychopathetic. Uh, it says it wouldn't have happened if Triple H said the man didn't let Orton back in. Discuss him. Big Show would take the mic and apologize for Rollins. He says he feels personally responsible for what happened, and it breaks his heart. Uh, he says he thinks Rollins has a future and the best damn talent in WWE right now. Show says what Orton did was cruel, slimy, no good snake in the grass. What he talks about Orton, he'll crush. He crushes snake in the grass because he's a giant. Kane also apologizes for Rollins. He says he's sorry and will make Orton pay for what he did. Now Noble says he's a secret weapon. He knows that he is of uh, the authority. He says he cares about Rollins and what Orton did is inexcusable. He says he's Rollins is his boss and his friend. He says uh, Noble says what Orton did. Rollins hurt him, but it hurt Mercury even more. Mercury takes the mic and is too upset to speak. Um, whoop, uh, Big Show will pat him on the back and they hug. He says, yeah, they're right, it did hurt, but Orton's ego is going to hurt the most when this is all finished. Uh, says Orton went around for years, thinking he can get away with what he wants without having consequences. Rollins says that Orton has never messed with someone like him. Rollins accepts his, uh, Randy Orton's WrestleMania interview with Challenge, only if Randy Orton will face him in the ring on tonight's route in the main event. Orton, sees, Orton, Orton will come out, he'll speak from the chains, and he'll say they thought the face of the WWE. Uh, he's just a guy who made Ron look like a little, uh, bitch last week. So, like, he has such challenge. Uh, he knows the odds are going to be against him, but he has enough venom for all the authority. Says if he makes it to WrestleMania, he'll win the future of WWE. And then they stare each other down. That's your first promo, your segment of the night. Um... AJ Lee versus Nikki Bella. Your first match tonight, a Divas match actually kicking us off. Uh, the winner of this match would be um, Nikki Bella. After that, she um, a big forearm. She hit her with a big forearm because she uh, AJ Lee was distracted. Nikki would pick up a knocked out AJ and hit her with the rack attack for the win pinfall. Um, after the match, Bella would just pose together in the ring as we go to replays, and which Nikki Bella will stand over AJ Lee with the title. Okay, first on these two promos or these, set, these two things in the second match in the segment. The first segment was, I mean, I liked the way it started. It was okay. In my opinion, um, I liked, I mean, I liked kind of how it started. It was kind of good, I guess. This rod was crap, I mean, really. Um, the next up was match was, I mean, they're going to have a tag team match where, you know, it's Nikki Bella and Brie Bella developed some first page initially at WrestleMania, but this match was given, what, I think 10 minutes, maybe? about, and then, I mean, they just didn't deliver these are two, I mean, elite viewers right now, and they didn't really give a good match, maybe they're saving it for WrestleMania, I don't know, but, yeah, um, yeah, we'll see, uh, Renee Young, guys, they just came to the big show, what, well, what role will they be in, in the rounds or in the main event? Show goes to talk with Kane and Ramps. Says Show will be in Rollins' corner. They start arguing. 
because he's director of operations. Director of operations. He doesn't answer. He doesn't need to answer to the show. Calms him down after Rollins. Rollins comes up and calms him down, saying that this is what he got them sent home by Seven Man last week. He says that they're stupid. Uh, he uh, Big, Big Show will get upset and Kane would back him down. Kane tells Rollins that Seven can address them how she wants, but Rollins can't. Um. Kane says Rollins has been acting like an entitled spoiled brat over ever since Kane helped him win money in the bank. Kane says this time some one gave Rollins what he deserves. Kane says he won't be at ringside tonight. The show doesn't want to, he doesn't have to go out either. The show just gets in Rollins' face and walks off. Kane follows. Wow. Looks like the authorities have fallen apart. Okay. Our next match would be Ryback versus The Miz. And the year winner would be Ryback. He went by Pinfluff after he had to meet a clothesline and shell shock for the win. After the match, Ryback, um, let's see. Jamie Sand would come in and fans, you know, would, you know, cheer. And then Santa would help him as up, but Miz drops him with a skull crush finale. And yeah. So next would be uh, Michael Cole in the ring. with the setup for the contract signing between the WWE United States Champion Rusev and John Cena for their match at WrestleMania. Um, he says he signed a lot of these, but John Cena says he signed a lot of these, but this contract is by far the most important because he, in just a few minutes, we will see what people call a super athlete. The hero of the Russian Federation fans do. Okay says this man is the champion of the United States, which means he represents the USA and doesn't, John Cena doesn't like that. Uh, he says this what's, this is what makes this match important. He says, Cena says, um, he could do like last week and beat Rusev around the ring, but it does not, it's no good as long as Rusev is wearing the title. Cena signed, signs the contract. Says Rusev's allowed to live in the U.S. and the U.S. have given him an opportunity but every chance he can get. He rips our country. Um, USA Chan goes on. Says he's had the honor and privilege to stand on the front line with our troops, but he's ashamed to look at them in the eye and say, Rose is the man that brings our championship into battle. Cena says no more. He says this ain't a contract that's a declaration of independence and WrestleMania is our revolution. Cena says the US is a great country because we will not quit. We will stand up and fight. He says you can only push up so far before we can grab Uh, Lana's com Russo's coming out. Lana is nowhere to be seen. But, but there is another man in the suit behind him. Now, uh, it's his turn to sign the contract. The man speaks and says he's Russo's attorney. He says he won't be signing the contract and won't be competing against John Cena at WrestleMania. Cena gets upset. So the lawyer says Russo did not agree to this match or any other. The lawyer shows this video fame. Um says there's no evidence that Russo agreeing to a match so the country is null and void. The lawyer goes on, Russo wants to read a prepared statement and then he was on the contract. He ran on Cena America but is given the what treatment by the crowd, says the country worships failures and our parents are failures. Cena gets upset and ready to fight. Russo goes on with his promo, but Cena's getting upset. They come face to face over the table. Russo calls America a little, a super little country that will die. They stare each other down as fans chant USA. Russo signs the contract and immediately fits the table to try Cena so he can get out of the ring. And yeah, basically the Russia fight would come down out of your segment. And um, I give this segment um, three out of five stars. Could have been better. I mean, Lana should have been there. But I did like how Russo was uh, speaking on his own without his actual. Um, you know, manager Lana, the hot, sexy Lana. But guys, um, that guy that was his attorney was stupid, uh, bad acting. He shouldn't even been, shouldn't have, shouldn't have even been there. Next, we would have the New Day versus Cesaro and Tyson Kidd in the tag team match. Uh, the winners would be, um, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. Uh, Cesaro would pin Kofi after a shot from behind. So after the match, Los Montadores and the new and the new um, day fight at ringside, and yeah, basically that's it. Okay, um, 
Uh, there's a bag fish that went with Seth Rollins, Shane Mercury, and Jamie Noble. Uh, Noble and Rollins argue, and before he's fired, Noble quits. Mercury ends up walking out after him and appears they're both gone. Now we go to the pre-recorded interview with Brock Lesnar. Now we see the streak being ended last year. Doesn't care about the people who are disappointed by that. Uh, he says he loves being, he says he loves people crying, being upset. Says, uh, he, uh, addresses his contract with the WWE. He'll be champion if he stays, and he will be WWE champion if he goes. He says Roman Reigns won't stand in the way of that. Lesnar says he's going to kick Roman Reigns' ass, and it will be any, like, unlike any other ass being he's received. Lesnar says there won't be any happy feel-good moments because he's going to F up Roman Reigns, and that's the end. Our next match would be Big Show versus Eric Rowan. It wouldn't, it wouldn't even be a match because he would just knock him out, give him the choke slam. We would see Kane in the ring with the rest of the Andre the Giant Memorial that are all participants. Uh, uh, he's, he says they all need it less than tough. Mark Henry would come out, put the same in the hat, and Big Row would break out. Henry, Kane start tossing people out of the ring. They start brawling. Chris dumped Kane, but Axel runs in from behind, and Kane gets dumped. No Henry knocks Axel back and then tosses him over the top. Henry just music kicks and left in the center. And so, yeah. And Andre, I mean, there's a lot of pointless stuff to build up. I mean, uh. Goodness. Paul Heyman would come out. He's introduced. Says Brad Lesnar's the best in WWE and MMA. He talks about how Lesnar's not a fan of rules. He's not a pacifist. Says coming to WrestleMania to make, oh, to make war with Roman Reigns. Heyman says we're stuck with Lesnar as champion. And there's not a damn thing. And the mic goes out again. Says he's wondering what the WWE will do to stop Lesnar. Heyman says no one can stop Lesnar. Heyman says Reigns will, will stand up but wonders what will happen to Reigns when Lesnar's bitch slaps into WrestleMania. Says Lesnar will give Reigns a prison beating. Heyman says over and over that Reigns can't beat Lesnar. Uh, Heyman says Reigns' father should have told him that a long time ago. And Roman Reigns has come out. And, uh, Roman Reigns says he's, he has a lot of respect for Heyman. He really does. He says he might be the best dog in the business. Reigns says if his issue isn't with Heyman, there it's with his client Brock Lesnar. He said you know, he turns to face his camera. So he can talk to Lesnar now. There are some boo. Okay. He says he would say this in Lesnar's face if he was actually here. But um, Reigns is, is expecting a fight and hoping for a war. Reigns says he may be carried out of WrestleMania, but he will have the title on his shoulder. Reigns says he's going to beat Lesnar's ass at WrestleMania because he can. He will, and he believes it. And yeah. So. See, this is the thing. Why is Brock Lesnar not going to be there? I mean, God. Uh, and we see have a backstage segment with Heyman and Renee Young. Heyman says Roman Reigns will be able to say what he wants Brock Lesnar face, uh, Brock Lesnar face in the ring next week in row. Finally gonna go face to face. I mean, Paul Heyman's an excellent mic worker. Five star promos with Roman Reigns, but that's it. Or is Brock Lesnar? Hey, it was pre-recorded, but really. Where's the build-up? Where's the Undertaker? Where's Bray Wyatt? I mean... Okay, we got all this dumb crap. We, we, we're going to get a six-man tag, tag team match between Stardust, Luke Harper, and Ben Israel versus Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, and Dean Ambrose. And we're going to get all this crap. And, uh, and then now, yeah, we're almost near the end of the uh, So the winner of this match would be Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, and Dan Daniel, uh, Daniel Bryan. After Ambrose would uh, hit 30 Ds for the win. On Benny Barrett. And then, um. Uh. Ben Barrett finally gets his Intercontinental title back. They all brawl. I mean, there's a, all the competitors and stuff. And, okay. We were just going to see a bag time with Triple H and Anna Rowland comes in and whines about being all alone, everything that's happened tonight. He asks what they're going to do to fix this stuff. So he says he's a big boy and has made his own bed. He now has to do what he has to weigh in. Rollins gets upset and blames Stephanie for sending Big Joe and Kane home last week. Triple H asks who the hell does Rollins think he is talking to. Rollins asks if Triple H decided to quit playing hide and seek with the same. Triple H gets in his face. Rollins dares him to mess up the future of the company. Stephanie tells Roman, or Rollins to man up if he can. Triple H tells Rollins to run along. 
before the situation goes from bad to worse, as he does. And we're back from the bacon very wide backstage. It's iron full of ashes from the rocking chair that was burned by the Undertaker last week. He'll cut a promo on the Undertaker and says it's good to seal. Wyatt says WrestleMania will be Undertaker's uh, re- last wrestling piece, but it will be Wyatt's corner nation. Wyatt says he will destroy Taker and take his rightful place among the gods. Wyatt says after WrestleMania, no one is safe. He calls himself the new place of fear and laughs. And then our main event will be Rainier versus Seth Rollins. Even though we're going to have this match at WrestleMania, we're going to have this in the main event of Raw right now. So. Rollins, uh, Rainier would come out, and then Rollins would come out and speak from the stage reveals that he's played Orton like a fool the whole night. Trillish is music and he comes out with the authority. All of them fans chant for Sting. They he- head to the ring, and Orton grabs a steel chair to prepare for battle. The lights go as they surround Orton. We hear the crows. Now the lights come on, and Sting is standing tall with Orton. They unload on the authority and clear the ring, but Stooges take a Stinger splash in the corner. Noble takes a Scorpion Death Drop, too. Mercury takes an RKO, Triple H, Rollins, Kane, and the others look on from the floor. Sting and Orton are on fire in the ring. Sting's music gets in. As he and Orton look on, the authority hits the ramp, and Sting beats on his chest in the ring beside Orton. And right, Rock goes, Rock goes up here with Triple H showing back at Sting. Okay, this is what I'm going to say. The 7 8 hour uh, was, um,. Seven eight. The first hour out from seven o'clock to eight o'clock was a uh, three out of five stars, and then uh, the eight to nine hour was a uh, three point five out of five stars, and probably the ten uh, nine to ten hours probably four out of five stars. Honestly, I mean, guys. Because truth is, if Sting joining joining Rainer at the end at the end saved Rob from being one of the worst Rob's so clean up to this point. I mean, really, honestly, this row is really pretty bad. I mean, I gotta give this show a five out of ten stars. I, I've defended the WWE. I've said they were good. I've, when they weren't, I mean, I've really been here. I've got to start speaking up and saying the truth. This was a highlight thing coming out. Uh, and Randy Orton, I mean, them fighting together, being in the ring together, and then, oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but, um, um, actually, after Raw, after the lights went out and went off the air, uh, dark, the dark, um, uh, Sting actually, uh, spoke, to, uh, actually spoke, uh, speak after tonight's WWE Raw, there's actually a video on it, you can check it out on wrestling.com, I mean, really, to be honest, and, um, Kevin Owens has, uh, underwent knee surgery. Ring of Honor might be signed to try Dudley from Rainier roster. There's Ring of Honor's veteran signs with Dudley. I mean, Jimmy Uso or Jay Uso might be hurt. There's a Hall of Famer. We got that revealed as well. I mean, Bill Simmons is going to be on next week's draw. Another celebrity will be. Um, there's going to be the Grammy winning music artist opening up Wrestlemania. Um, the Hall of Fame is going to be on the W Network again. Two hour pre show. Snoop Dogg at Raw. More stars added to the Wrestlemania, I think, Andre John Memorial match. And there's a big segment for next week's Raw. <gasps> oh crap, I didn't even know that. Oh god. No, guys, uh, if you want to see uh, Sting speak right now, you can actually go check it out on the WWE Network. It's actually on there. I'm going to check that out right freaking now. Um, so, next week will be um, Face to Face with Tim Rollins and WWE Champion Brock Lesnar. Our next match from Los Angeles was just a WrestleMania 31 Go Home show. Like I said, Build up. It wasn't the best Raw. It might have been the worst Raw of the year, but um, but Sting saved it, and you know, there's no Undertaker. There's not. There's people that are not just being there to build it up. I mean, some things are pointless, pointless, but yeah. So yeah.
Uh, so after Sting wraps up his WWE Network interview following around Des Moines, Iowa, uh, tonight, John Cena and is teamed up to defeat Seth Rollins and the United States Champion Rusev. Uh, says that the correspondent Quinn Noon for Sync.com reported that Cena and Rusev started the match, but Rusev uh, started by rolling out of the ring three times. After the third time, Cena attacked Rusev before the Rusev gained control and threw Cena back in the ring. Rollins came in to beat Cena down and keep control. Rusev came back in an 8 8 drop kick, but kept Cena down. R Rusev put in the accolade, but he powered out and named Rand Rusev in the corner. Rollins, or Reigns and Rollins tagged in at the same time, and Rollins exploded with offense. Reigns kept control, but got super kicked by Rusev. Cena came in and had the attitude adjustment on Rusev. Rollins went for a curse on the Cena, but missing got screwed by Reigns to end the match. Cena and Reigns then celebrated to send friends home happy. Here's your dark main event. So, yeah. So yeah. So yeah, guys, that's your raw review and re your review and results for W Monday Night Raw tonight, three sixteen fifteen. Um, I told you. Uh, I already told you my thoughts, my opinions, my comments, my, you know, everything. Um, let's see. Anything else news I can tell you right on here? Um. Uh, I'm gonna just tell you really quick. Um, the updated WrestleMania 31 match card is full. Come on. Like I told you, um, I told you the whole, but my full show rating. I did a bio right hour, first hour, three, three out, of, three out of five stars. Second hour, three point five, and last hour, four out of five. Sting saved it. Could have been worse around the year, but yeah. So really quick, this looks to be your uh, your final card going in WrestleMania, but there might be a pre-show match added or some extra matches. So this is Sting's fourth appearance in WWE, second appearance in Raw. He's got two pay-per-view appearances, and probably will be on Raw next week as well, and be at will be in WrestleMania facing Triple H. Okay, so here's your, um, uh, so, here's the updated card after tonight's Raw, for WrestleMania 3 on the match card. Okay, Brock Lesnar will defend the WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Roman Reigns. Brock Lesnar will have Paul Heyman by him. Uh, Rusev will defend the WWE United States Championship against John Cena. Rusev will probably have Lana with him as well. Ben is will defend the WWE Intercontinental Championship in a ladder match against six other competitors. Dolph Ziggler, R-Truth, Dean Ambrose, Luke Harper. Sardis and Daniel Bryan, seven people are in there. We got the Iron Sage Jam Memorial Battle Royal for a second year in a row. Cesaro won the first one. And um, here are the entrance, the competitors. Um, Kane, Big Show, Darren Young, Pettis O'Neill, Jack Sager, The Miz, Ryback, Curtis Axel, Fondango, Adam Rose, Zach Ryder, Eric Rowan, Sinkara, Damian Sandow, Goldust, Mark Henry, Henry, uh, Heath Later, others, and to be announced. We got Sting versus Triple H, Sting's first match in the WWE, AJ Liam Page versus Nikki and Bree the Bella Twins, Seth Rollins versus Randy Orton, and Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker. I mean, The Undertaker ain't there. Bray Wyatt's on promos backstage to himself. Undertaker ain't building the story. Hopefully he'll be on next week's try at least once, and not just wait until WrestleMania to return. Seth Rollins versus Randy Orton. Their build is awesome. I like how they've actually done it. Randy Orton turning on him, and then we got... I like how they're doing this one, because they're doing it right. AJ Lee and Paige versus Bella Twins. Um, there's another deal with match. Uh, Sting versus Triple H. I actually... Sting could be there a little bit more in Triple H, you know, going to his face or something, but not exactly the best as well. Yeah, Andre, Andre Jam Memorial Battle Royal. There's no build up. Doesn't need to be. The ladder match for the Intercontinental title. Um, they're just stealing titles and stuff. Rusev and John Cena, their match is, you know, USA versus Russia. John Cena, they're getting physical, they're cutting promos, you know. I do like it. And Roman Reigns and Brad Cluster. Brad Cluster's not there. Roman Reigns and Paul Hammond are the ones only in the ring. Titles are in there. He's done pre-recorded interviews, and yeah, why should I be invested on this paper? Why should I watch? Make me wanna, make me wanna uh, watch this. WWE. 
this is what I'm talking about. For the casual fan, they're gonna make you wanna buy it. So, I told you uh, my full show rating for Raw was uh, 5 out of 10 stars. So, see you YouTube. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like this video. Share this video all over the entire internet on Facebook, Tom, Twitter. Comment with your thoughts and your opinions. WrestleMania is 13 days away. Subscribe.